Hey folks, Jonathan again. Uh, I wanted to show you uh, a little pump that I've got, a two-cylinder pump that uh, I'm going to be building into a steam engine soon. Uh, this is kind of an oddball. A Deming is a common pump, but I haven't been able to find any other two-cylinder or duplex Deming pumps. Even on the internet, I found some singles on there, but no two. Now this one here, as you can see, it's been brazed all over the place, the bottom. Uh, I think it's been cracked out in the front, and I believe that's JB Weld, I, I think. Looks like the way it's peeling off, but uh, this is going to be our next steam engine pump. Now, I haven't, uh, I haven't got plans to start on it anytime real soon, but of course I didn't really on the other one either, and I've got it finished up, but we uh we may get started on this one and uh you know do it at night in the shop but uh but this is kind of uh different to me anyway is where the cylinders as you can see are not a 180 degrees apart and uh that kind of it hurts in a way it's going to help with the starting you know it'll start no problem by itself but uh without spinning it and it, you know it would work good for reversing or anything like that but when it comes to actually doing our slide valve and stuff we're going to have to uh, run two eccentrics and two separate rods two different you know two separate slide valves and uh, you know it shouldn't be a problem I mean we'll we'll figure it all out as we go but uh, I like the pump uh, it's neat the way it's made and I actually seen a picture of a single cylinder taken down. It's actually got a piston in here that looks almost like a car piston and a rod and no rings on it. And then or I didn't see any anyway. And then the uh the rod actually screws into the top of the other piston. So it's sort of like a little engine at this end, you know, with two bores, two pistons, two rods, and then the uh the rod sticks up and you got the other piston on the you know on the the actual pump part and uh, like I said it was a single cylinder I seen taken apart but you know it's the same thing just a just a duplex side by side and I think you know this thing will clean up and we can make it look really good uh, you know it's, it's gonna make a really nice one but I wanted to show you what we're working with here uh, it's a pretty pretty rough like I said but besides all the repairs and stuff it's it's in pretty bad shape but uh, I don't mind it because you know we're we're gonna be chopping on it and machining it anyway, so it's not that big of an issue. And uh, you can see the inside of that, but you can definitely see how much rust and corrosion and buildups in here. But uh, but like I said, you know it's not a not a problem and I'm not sure how we're gonna to have to do this one I'm not sure how the valves work I know there is two spring-loaded valves in each of these but the single cylinder didn't have the the plate on the bottom that unbolted so I'm not sure what we're gonna run into uh, you know it depends on how it goes we can uh, you know worst comes worst we could always turn the cylinder over and run this as the, as the top and this is the bottom and uh, you know if we, we may end up having to and, you know from looking at it and guessing about it, I would say we'll probably end up having to machine this off like we've done the uh, Myers pump and maybe building a plate for it. And uh, and I will probably, if I do that, I'll probably use some heavier plate and, uh, you know, a little more machining. And that way we can, uh, in case I decide to, you know, really run this on steam, I can, you know, get something out of it. Uh, you know, this is... Honestly, if you look at the, the motors that were in the cars, I know the stroke's not as long on this, but you know it don't. You'd be surprised how much power you get out of a out of a steam engine. And uh, but I just wanted to show it to you and show you what we're going to start with. Of course, like I said, it's a, it's in bad shape. I'm gonna go scratch the hood of this car here. It's been burnt. I don't think it matters a whole lot, but. Uh, and there's the other side of it and, and your, your bleeder valve but uh, 
like I said, we'll get it apart and see what we're going to have to do. We may have to possibly take these off and machine a plate for it or something for a head. You know, to, uh, I wish I had these out, but to be able to, you know, block it in because I'm not sure what they've done here. I mean, I don't know if these are original or, or if they're added on or, or what they are, but, uh, pretty rough shape. I think I'll turn it over here and dump this stuff out and then I'll show you what we're seeing after that. And here's what we got. Looks a lot like the, uh, looks a lot like the Myers pump, the way it's set up, you know, with the valves and, uh, I'm assuming that these, of course, are the intake, or probably the, well, I guess this would be the exhaust valve. This is where the where the water comes out to, and then it flows out this pipe, and I guess it would flow in this one, so that means there's going to be more valves on the bottom. So we, we could probably machine this off and, and uh, fill the bottom full of lead like we did the other one maybe, and, and, uh, and do it that way. But either way, we'll get it figured out. There's a, there's always a way of doing it. These are just rubber, rubbers with the springs and not much to it. It's the same as the other one. And, uh, and I'll eventually get it in the shop there and get this, uh, get this bottom off and we'll see what's going on and see, see what we've got with this stuff. I don't know what it's going to look like. It almost looks like maybe there was some brazen underneath of that before they put the JB Weld on, but... Uh, but instead of going to the junkyard, we're gonna we're gonna do something with it. I think it'll make a neat looking steam engine. I'd like to get a little bigger flywheel for it, but and uh, and it is on a cast iron base, so that kind of makes it nice. And uh, I think it would be cute when we're done. We'll see what happens. All right, I'll let you know when we get started on this one. Bye.